So we have a function that will print all the file names in a directory. And so we're just going to open a directory and we're going to check the entries. And if we find a file, we're going to print it. But if we find a directory, we are going to call the same function. And so the function will stop calling itself once it finds no more directories. And if we compile it, well, it'll print all the file names, right? But this is kind of a generically useful function. We could do an awful lot of things with the file names, you know, instead of just printing the file name, maybe we want to uh, grab something from it or just print the files. So maybe instead of just printing the file name, we can actually print the content. So let's say what I want to, well, I guess print file can open the file you know I'll omit the well whatever but we can while what is it get C Don't forget to use an integer because you need minus one. And, um, well, you can, you know, print the file, right? But uh, what if we want more, right? Or I, I guess, you know, how do we, how do we actually make this work with this, right? Because here we are just you know, printing the file but we actually want to print the content of the file. Well, you know, I guess, you know, you can put an int here and then, you know, if, you know, check the flag, I guess. But another thing we can do is instead of, you know, using a flag and specifying the options, I guess, is actually using a function pointer where the find function doesn't actually even know of the available options well we can you know we can use all sorts of functions all we want right so what we can do is put a function pointer which is just a pointer to the function and well we'll use it here right so instead of the puts we can use the function pointer and I guess we should put args here. So this is the arguments that the function will take. And then we can do fine and then a pointer to cat and then args. Well, in this case, we can so we can make a struct for the args and I guess actually we should do this uh, file name undeclared oh uh not void what um char right declaration uh, shadows global variable okay whatever and then here we can take args and the args we can put well we actually don't need the args here but you can do whatever let's make a size limit so if wait uh, file name st 
I'm just gonna omit error checking or whatever. So if let's say wait, we gotta get the args first. Args um arg args. So we cast it to arg and then we can access the argument. Um to referencing void pointer. Wait, why am I dereferencing it? Oh, we need a better name. <laughs> Rxt let's say arg and then we can access the size limit. So if SD SD size is more than size limit, I guess we don't we don't print it. Right. And we can now do our thing. So arcs args size limit 100 let's say I don't know I don't want size limit but uh, incompatible integer to pointer conversion oh well we would want to pass a pointer there too um, why incompatible function pointer types? Oh, the cat. <laughs> the cat has to, you know, have the same, you know, return value. Right. Uh, <laughs> this sucks, but whatever. But um, if we, oh my gosh, is is it the const char? <laughs> what the hell? Void const char. Okay, is <laughs> the const char? And if we do this, is it not <laughs> working? <laughs> mm. Okay, now it now it prints the thing, right? And so now you can use find for different things, right? So, well, in that case, we just used find using all the files that uh, we have found in find, and for each file, we are going to well execute the function pointed to by the function pointer, which uh, in this case is the cat function which just prints uh, the thing but 